Okay viewers, welcome back to computer networking class. In previous video, we had discussed about two types of congestion control techniques. In this video, we will discuss how congestion control is carried on in TCP. So, in TCP congestion control, it leads us to following three questions. Let me change pointer option. Yes. So, what are the three question arises at the time of congestion control are Firstly, how traffic sending rate is controlled and how sender gets to know that there is congestion and what algorithm to be used to control the sending rate. So how to limit the rate? So it will limit the rate by using another window which is known as CWND means congestion window. So the amount of unagged data at a sender may not exceed the minimum of CWND and RWND means congestion window and receiving window. So as it is obvious that the amount of unagged means the data which is not agged cannot be greater than congestion window or a receive window. And TCP congestion control at the sender keeps the track of an additional variable as we have discussed. So the formula is the last byte sent minus last byte act is always smaller than is equals to minimum of congestion window and RWND means receiving window. So <coughs> we can consider congestion control as opposite of flow control. So how to perceive congestion in path? So how to get to know that there is congestion in path at the time of transmission? So we will consider a loss event so what is loss event is that if there are three duplicate acts or if there is an occurrence of timeout so it will leads us to loss event so if there is excessive congestion then one router along the path overflows so if there is <coughs> an overflow causing a datagram to be dropped so this means a loss event occurs okay so this lossy event will indicate us that there is a congestion in that transmission line so how to control this rate so till the acts are received by the previous unagged packet sender believe that it is well means all is well then if acts are received or arrived at a low rate then CWND will increase at relatively slow rate so in this way controlling is done at the time of sending so whereas <coughs> if acts are arrived at a high rate so if acts are arriving in favorable rate uh, as no timeout occurs so it will show or indicate that there is need to increase the congestion window because of this TCP is called self clocking so it is all about clocking now that's why it is telling that TCP is self-clocking. So what are the <coughs> approaches of setting the sending rates? So lost segment implies congestion. Okay, so if there is any loss, uh, lossy event occurs, it implies congestion. Agged segment indicates network is congestion free. So bandwidth probing means we will increase the number of packets to such an event, uh, such an extent that uh, there is a loss event occurs so if there is no lot the loss event till then we will add the data to the congestion window or increase the congestion window so in slow start firstly it will increase the data uh, rate by only sending one mss maximum segment size so after one ACK is is received uh, it will double the sending rate so as you can see that here if one acknowledgement is received it will increase by one MSS. So the next time two packets are being sent. After that at uh, receiving of one acknowledgement there is an increase of one MSS. So for two it will be two. So in this way it will get doubled. So this is slow start. <coughs> Now, how to decrement or how to decrease the rate? So, if there occurs congestion window 
congestion then congestion window is made one so uh, if there is a congestion accidentally it, it will reduce the data rate to be one MSS uh, also TCP sets a state variable which is SS thresh to congestion window by two when congestion was detected so in second way so, it, so there was first way that it will directly made congestion window to be one but in second way it will make congestion window to be is equals to SS thresh so <coughs> the half value will get decrease sorry so in next video we will be talking about congestion avoidance till then 